Good Tuesday morning to you and rise and shine. You're going to have to dig that puffy coat out this morning. Maybe your gloves and mittens too. It is going to be a cold start to the day. Luckily, in the days to come, we're going to return to the 60s. Not today, but it will happen. And the weekend, well, it's looking like a rainy start to the weekend at least. We'll see if we can salvage at least part of it for you uh, ahead in your forecast. Right now, freeze warnings are still up from Lee County through Moore and Montgomery counties. The points north of here it doesn't mean it's not cold enough for a hard freeze, but it does mean that the growing season is not officially underway. With that, we still have a lot of farmers here in Randolph and Davidson County and Montgomery County too that are covering their plants this morning and for good reason. We have temperatures close to freezing, if not below freezing right now across the Piedmont. It's 31 in Greensboro, 33 for Winston, Salem and High Point, but sitting right at the freezing mark in Lexington and Liberty, Walnut Cove as well, and upper 20s in Pilot Mountain this morning. It's uh, 32 in Burlington and 31 in Siler City. Wind chills are going to be also something that gets your attention as you're heading out the door. Right now, the wind chill in Greensboro and Winston, Salem are right there in the mid 20s and same for Burlington. So. Make sure you are bundled up. The breeze is brutal outside this morning. Luckily, we have clear skies, so we'll have sunshine to help us warm up through the day. And we're going to stay fairly sunny here later in the day, actually picking up a southwest wind, and that's going to start to boost our temperatures not only overnight tonight, but also tomorrow. Another cold front is going to sag into North Carolina. We'll have a nice warm day tomorrow, but then as we head into Wednesday or rather Thursday, will cool down just a bit. Rain chances really start to go up at the end of the week, so Friday and Saturday both are looking like they're going to be pretty wet. And total rainfall, uh, almost two inches of rain is possible. One and a half to two here across the triad. Here you go, your seven day forecast. 55 today, 68 tomorrow, which is lovely, and 62 on Thursday. Grab the umbrellas for the beginning of the weekend.